It's Liberty Flames football. 20,000 fans being loud and wearing red. Some a little bit more passionate than others. The program's success is reaching new heights, but things were a bit different back in the early days. Just an old field out in the back where the soccer team did some uh, practicing as well, and we had a little barn there that was fixed up. Steve Kearns played tight end on some of Liberty's first football teams. He arrived without much fanfare. I'd never seen the school before. I'd never been to Lynchburg before. I had a number for the football office, and that's about all I had, and uh, showed up, called, went down. College football was a new challenge that brought with it adversity. Actually, after my first year at Liberty, I, uh, I tried to get my scholarship changed so I could play soccer because I knew I'd get more playing time. It didn't happen, but Steve persevered and then thrived during his junior and senior seasons. We didn't throw the ball a lot, so my position was really, uh, was really a, a key position as a tight end in, in the Veer offense that we ran, and it was always the big plays. And so, you know, I think I averaged just over 21 yards a catch. That type of production led him to be the first Liberty football player drafted professionally into the Canadian Football League. Steve would play five seasons in the CFL, but not before confronting the difficult questions that many athletes face. Do you fit in? Are you going to make the team? And you know your performance, uh, the pressure that there is, and so there's there can be insecurity um, in sense of am I going to make a team? I'm not going to make a team. Uh, you know, and then you get injured. Uh, then how do you deal with that? During these trials, Steve leaned on his faith. I remember sitting in my locker uh, in Hamilton and quoting Philippians 4.6, to not be anxious, like don't be anxious, Steve, just go out and trust God and, and leave it with him and, and you'll, you can have peace, because that was a promise. And so I remember having that peace going out on the field and just not worrying about anything, just practicing and having fun. His football career ended shortly thereafter, but with it came a new opportunity. Steve and his wife Georgie were asked to join the staff of Athletes in Action, a ministry that uses sports to share Christ. I remember when we first joined staff of Athletes in Action, I remember them saying to us, could you stay for at least two years? You know, and I remember laughing, I was like, man, you do not know Steve Kearns. When Steve decides to do it, he does it right. And I knew back then um, that we were in it for the long run. Steve and Georgie met at Liberty and believed that their time there prepared them for what was ahead. I think going to Liberty, because I'm an education major, you can always use being a teacher. So now I teach God's Word to a bunch of women that, um, that are going on a really cool journey with me. Georgie ministers to players' wives, while Steve serves as the chaplain for the NBA's Toronto Raptors, CFL's Hamilton Ticats, and Major League Soccer's Toronto FC. What do we know about this American? Weekly Bible studies give players an opportunity to grow in their faith. As an athlete, all your physical needs are taken care of, but um, Steve's been there for our spiritual needs, and obviously that's, that's the most important thing for us, and so he's kind of created a, an environment for us to grow in our faith and share our faith with other teammates who, you know, maybe we wouldn't get that opportunity otherwise. We don't have many people that are saying like, hey, it's okay when you lose, it's okay when like everyone wants us to win, fans, coaches, um, but Steve comes in and says like, hey, Christ is what matters, you know, that's what the most important thing is in life. And that's exactly what Steve and Georgie want to share with the athletes they support. I think their faith can help in being able to just do the best that you can and hopefully not get all your identity from your performance, right? And get your identity from who you are uh, in Christ.